Be prepared for all outcomes. Inside the story of a rising supervolcano. Forget Italy's most famous active volcano, Mount Vesuvius, which destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD. The most dangerous volcanic threat in Italy today is one you've probably never heard of, the Campi Flegre, or Flegrean Fields. Stretching 200 kilometers, 125 miles, beneath the Bay of Naples and the islands of Capri and Ischia to the outskirts of Naples, is a giant caldera or depression left by a supervolcano some 2 million years ago. It is now home to several volcanoes that have been active for 39,000 years, many of which lie underwater. The area is also dotted with villas, small villages and shopping centers as well as being home to 800,000 people and a hospital under construction. More than 500,000 local residents live in what Italy's Civil Protection Agency considers a red zone, an area that includes 18 towns that are at highest risk in the event of an eruption. An additional 3 million residents of Naples live just outside the eastern edge of the caldera, according to the Civil Protection Agency. Campi Flegre's last major eruption occurred in 1538 and created a new mountain in the bay. Seismic activity in the region has increased since December 2022, according to Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, and experts fear the volcano may revive after generations of inactivity. The densely populated region, which is less than 50 kilometers, 31 miles, from Vesuvius, is prone to a seismic phenomenon known as Brady Season, which is characterized by gradual cycles of land uplift and subsidence. The last time the area experienced similar activity was in 1984, when the ground level rose 3.5 meters, 11.5 feet, before starting to slowly fall accompanied by seismic activity similar to that occurring in the area now. Currently in a positive Brady season condition, when the ground moves upwards, the entire volcanic zone also experiences earthquake waves that shake nerves and make residents seek safety on the roads. In September, the strongest earthquake in 40 years struck the region, and the 4.2 magnitude quake was followed by a similar magnitude quake a few days later. So far in 2024, Campi Flegre has recorded more than 3,450 earthquakes, 1,118 of which occurred in August alone. This number is more than three times the previous year's total, according to INGV data. More than 500 earthquakes occurred in October, the strongest measuring 4.0 on the Richter scale, followed by dozens of aftershocks. As of early May, Almost all of the earthquakes were below 3.0 magnitude, according to INGV. Many experts believe local communities should be better prepared to deal with seismic activity and possible eruptions. On October 5, the country's Civil Protection Agency drew up its latest evacuation plan which called for the movement of half a million people over a 72-hour period on roads that many local residents feared would not be able to accommodate such heavy traffic. The last time evacuation plans were studied was in 2019, and the findings showed that evacuation plans were still lacking. Carlo Daglioni, chairman of INGV, testified regarding the potential impact of seismic activity before the lower house of the Italian government's environmental commission on September 28. There are two possible scenarios regarding the evolution of the situation at Campi Flegre. The best is that the ongoing Brady season crisis ends as was the case in 1983-84. The worst was a similar eruption in 1538, he said. This is an evolution that we don't know about and we are monitoring it, said Doglioni. 